I'm here at the Rocket League World Championships, and I have one simple question. Can you get a scholarship for playing esports? I've been looking around for people for collegiate esports, like esports players from college, and I found a few people who I think can help us out. Hi, my name is Alex Phipps, or I go by Laser. I am the coach and manager for UCF Rocket League, and we finished top eight at CRL Worlds this past year. I basically make sure that they show up to scrims, I schedule their matches, uh, make sure that they get their, pri their prize payouts, um, basically, it's everything to do with running the team and coaching them in between, in between games. I think our club currently has seven titles, League, uh, Rainbow Six, we have an, uh, an Overwatch team, a CSGO team, and we're reintroducing Smash and Fortnite this year. And uh, so are there scholarship opportunities too for UCF students? Uh, no, actually. They're, we are a completely student-run program. Oh, big miss! All right, so UCF didn't work out, all right? They don't have any scholarships, but I think I got another lead. I'm gonna talk to some guys from this place called Carroll University near Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I guess they said around there. Sounds like a small college. I'm not getting my hopes up, but maybe, maybe they got some scholarship stuff. Maybe they got like a cool esports program. Let's check it out. My name is Jacob. I am the team captain at Carroll University for uh, Rocket League. Um, currently been ranking around GC2, around GC3 area. This season will be the first season that we'll be able to play in a uh, CRL, which is an upper rank that most players don't ever get to qualify in. So my gamer tags, and I don't go to Carroll anymore, but I used to play for Carroll University, uh, mainly for Rocket League. I did play Siege back then. We played like all across the U.S. We played against some West teams, some East teams for our conference. Some scholarship opportunities you can get there is you do get the opportunity to earn a small scholarship. Earn a small scholarship. Yes, finally. All right, we found something. So there are small esports scholarships over there at Carroll. Now the next question is like, can we get something bigger? And I. I met Seth. He's the uh, manager of the University of North Texas team. I've been trying to get in touch with UNT for a long time for a bunch of other stuff. So finally found somebody from there. And they're a huge program. I think I think we might have hit the gold mine here. So let's talk to Seth and figure out what's up. Hi, my name's Seth Dunham, also known as Oak Kicker Online. I am the UNT Rocket League manager. For UNT Rocket League, I help find them scrims, help schedule their games and stuff like that. I really keep them on track of their game and stuff like that. That way, they just have to focus on school and their game and that's all. The team's doing really well. We made it top three in summer series right now, headed into playoffs right after this week. So the rest of the esports scene is pretty interesting. We have two other teams in Overwatch and League. We do offer scholarship opportunities for all three teams. So if people are interested in joining, go through the tryout process and stuff like that. And if they make it on the team, then they're eligible for that. As a student athlete, all you have to do for the scholarship prizing is to be part of the starting roster. All right, people, so there you have it. It is possible to get sports scholarships as an esports player in college. But then the bigger question, I guess, is how do you get on a team? Like, what do you got to do next? If you're interested seriously in becoming a collegiate esports player and getting those scholarships and playing for a team, what do you got to do? I asked everybody that we've already talked to to tell me a little bit more about that and also to share a little bit about what they think the future is for esports. Like, is this just something that's hot right now or is this going to be the future of college athletics? We hold open tryouts for all UCF students for each semester. Um, mostly fall is our biggest hitter. And basically, if you come into UCF, anyone can come in and tryouts and we go through a tryout selection and eventually come out with the teams. I really think that, at least in Rocket League, this is going to be the next proving grounds for, for pro play. Um, I think that a lot of up and coming pro players are eventually going to get picked up and poached by universities with uh, with scholarship programs. And this is going to be the next developmental ground that was RLRS. If you are wanting to go to college for esports, it was a fun, I had a blast while doing it. I would say, Try to make a name for yourself. Try to find references. Look at uh, multiple colleges. Some do give scholarships. Try to get your name out there and you'll get somewhere. Esports in general just skyrocketed so much that esports e is going to be the next phase of like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's more job opportunities. I mean, there's so much stuff you can do with esports, not being a player, but video production, getting the scenery done, making videos. I mean, there's so much you can do. At the collegiate level, I think esports, at least at UNT, is going to continue to progress because I know that we're building a new facility. I think that it's going to continue to progress. Like, in terms of Rocket League, CRL is continuing to get bigger and bigger. With the introduction of Worlds, I think that really helps us. 
And as far as uh, other collegiate games, I think those are going to continue to grow just like Rocket League is. All right. So something else they've been telling me about that I think is pretty interesting is that there's actually a whole organization dedicated to college esports. It's called the National Association of Collegiate Esports, NACE, 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 I don't know how you want to say it. They're like the NCAA for college esports. Uh, NCAA doesn't actually regulate esports. They kind of missed a huge opportunity. And so now you can check out NACE and you can enroll there and like maybe find other scholarship opportunities for Rocket League too. They've uh, got connections to some of the biggest players like Northwood and Oakland and you know UCF and other places like that too. So you might be able to get a scholarship through them too. Check out NACE if you really are interested in college esports. This has been an absolutely awesome experience. Uh, I would totally recommend esports events in person to any on the planet definitely come check one of these out if you ever get the chance uh, i want to say again thank you for watching this all the way to the end if you guys want some more info on how to apply for these scholarships or like to try to get on these teams you can hit us up at purposecore.com and we'll try to put you in touch with some of these universities that we've talked to and other ones that we're always in contact with so uh just hit us up if you want and i want to give a big shout out to rollo i know how much you love rocket league i know how you've followed this channel you've been a long time fan and this one's for you baby so Thank you for watching, I'll see you next week. Don't ever start to doubt about yourself. Just keep pushing and you will get there.